What is the Euro Village? Do we really need one in Europe? Before we dive into details, first imagine this. You are in a scenic landscape surrounded by nature and nothing else. No houses, no villages, no crowded areas in the nearer vicinity. If you were a bird, you would see the shape of Europe and its countries. Let's not stop imagining. Imagine a house. The house is now a windmill. It represents the Netherlands in the Euro Village. If you go inside, on the ground floor, you will see a small museum representing the ethnology of the Netherlands. You can even see a visual presentation of different significant cultural achievements, like all paintings of Van Gogh. If you go upstairs, you can see accommodation for secondary school students like myself. Let's go outside. We are not alone anymore. Every country has its own ethno home. All are set up in the same way, providing a place of concentrated culture on the ground floor and some accommodation on the first floor. It is not only an ethno home anymore, it is also a cultural center. It could be even more, but let's stop imagining here and see the true facts. Most youth have never left their city. More than half have never used a passport. Experiencing diversity fosters open-mindedness. Isn't this exactly what Bosnia and Herzegovina needs? And aren't today's secondary school students exactly the generation that will lead this country 10 to 20 years from now? And this is exactly what the Euro Village will represent, in a tangible manner, touchable. So it's a tourist location for teens? Well, it is more than that. It is actually for secondary school students where all activities of the 292 different school councils will take place. It's a place where we can develop new skills through workshops, but also get practical experience by being hired for different jobs. This village would be managed by us, the secondary school students. It's imagining time again. You wake up in one of the many ethno homes in the Euro Village. You go to eat in a restaurant where your friends work and manage the place. After the meal, you take a walk, passing by homes representing different cultures, and you end up in the village training center, purposely built for learning and training programs, for research and studies. Oh, but you are not a secondary school student, or you are a foreign citizen? So what? You are welcome here anyway. The Euro Village will foster youth leaders, ensure involvement in decision-making processes, alleviate problems of youth segregation and marginalization, and empower reconciliation. Most importantly, it will foster the stopping of the brain drain tendency by showing our fellow secondary school students and generally the youth in Bosnia and Herzegovina what could be established and what opportunities it could create. It could bring together all of Europe. We have already established cooperation with secondary school students in Croatia, Serbia, Slovenia, and Austria. Can you help us to realize the Euro Village? Yes. Become an ambassador in action. What is expected from an ambassador in action? We are not asking for financing. We are hoping that each ambassador in action will promote the Euro Village concept and motivate various stakeholders to build their ethno homes and to present the culture, tradition, and values of their countries. Let's stop imagining. Let's make Euro Village a reality.